Hear me? Yeah. Yay. So like Skip said, um, we've got lots of phytoplankton and zooplankton out here. It's really important to us because it's what makes the water out here so green. It's the start of the food chain for everything else out here in the Gulf. So we need to make sure that we look after it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this piece of equipment. Um, so we're going to have a look at the clarity of phytoplankton. So phytoplankton is our plant plankton. Um, and so plant plankton needs three things in order to survive. They need sunlight, nutrients, and carbon. Sorry. <laughs> and anyone want to guess? No. Yes. Um, so they make their own energy. They synthesize fr uh, energy from the sun. And they start off a whole food chain out here. So we're going to use this piece of equipment and we're going to see what our phyto plankton density is around us right at this point. Um, so this is a Seki disc. It's a 30 centimetre white disc with a weight on the bottom and then it's connected to a rope with 25 centimetre in increments. Um, so what's going to happen is in a second I'm going to get someone to come up and help blow and it's going to go on over the side. It's going to sink down through the water and we're going to see it. We're going to see until we can't see it anymore. So when we can't see it anymore that's going to give us a, a measurement. Have we got a volunteer up there? Excellent. It's okay, you can keep your jacket on if you want. <laughs> awesome. So clearing away down the stairs for him, please, guys. You got him. Awesome. So what's going to happen is, like I said, it's going to go over this side. And we're going to lower it down. So you guys are more than welcome to come up and have a look. And what I want everyone to do is when you can't see it anymore, I want you to yell out. So that's going to give us that measurement. Yeah? So we can still see it? Yeah? Be careful, if you have polarized sunglasses on, you're going to see it longer than everybody else. <laughs> Keep going. Good work there, buddy. Keep going. So what's happening, guys, is the plankton is... Uh, as it's sinking down through the water, the plankton is going on top of that white disc and eventually there will be so much plankton on top of that white disc that we won't be able to see it anymore. Can we still see it guys? Yeah? You can't see it. Keep going, I think I can still see it. It's quite a long measurement. So what that means is the water around us right now is quite clear, so that may, might mean that there's not that many. Yeah, I'll start counting. We're going to pull it up now. So we're pulling up nice and tight. We're going to start from the blue marker. So, two, five. Whoa, you guys are so fast. One meter. <laughs> One and a half. Two meters. Three meters. Three and a half. Four meters. Good work. Keep going, guys. Five meters. Five and a half. Oh. Six meters. Where's our blue one? 6.75. Excellent. So that's a pretty uh, average reading for us out here. We range anywhere between two and nine. <laughs> Excellent. So what's going to happen now is um, our intern up there in the, in the bridge, she's going to put that into what's called the Global Science Citizens Project, which is a database that looks at climate change and the fluctuations of nutrients all around the world. So over time we can see what's happening out here in the Gulf. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head down to the back of the boat and we're going to get the next step up in the food chain. That's our zooplankton. We're going to sift some of that out for you guys and we're going to have a look. So if you want to come down and follow us and have a look, that'd be great. If not, you can stay up here and we'll come around later and show you what we do get off the back. That's a storm control, by the way. <laughs> Awesome, so if you guys want to follow me back, you're more than welcome. said that island is called Tiri Tiri Matangi. Translation, meeting of the winds or tossed by the winds, it gets the winds from every angle and named after the Maori god of the wind, Tafiti Matia. The Tiri Tiri Matangi is a wildlife sanctuary. It's home to some of our most endangered species here in New Zealand, which are primarily bird species, reptiles and insects. We only have one native or endemic land mammal to New Zealand and that is the lesser short-tailed bat. 
And of course bats can fly, so they get around a bit. The Teritari Mataka used to be a farm used to resupply the whaling vessels during the 1800s. At one stage, around 1834, our peak year for whaling here, there were around 150 vessels from the United States and around 50 boats from other countries like the UK and Australia. So this bay in front of us here and out to the left, that is Whakapara, that's the Bay of Wales. Directly in front of us up there is Kawau Island, way in the distance, that's part of our search area in front of us up there. And of course all of Whakapara. You can see this little rock just up here to the right. Beyond that rock, way out there on the horizon, is another island. That's another wildlife sanctuary. That's called Hautudu, or Little Barrier Island. That's part of our search area as well. Look off to the right of us. There's heaps of them. And that's why we go bird watching. Yeah. There's heaps in front, spread out to the left. There could easily be a hundred or more dolphins here. Yeah, there's a whole lot more up in front of us here. We'll just keep tucking through here. Yeah, here we go. Some of them are racing up the front to come and see you guys. Yeah. Yeah, there's some tiny little baby ones out here too. Oh, it's a little baby dolphins. There's a few hundred dolphins here. We're almost in the exact spot that we were this morning. We, this is as far as we came and we can see quite a bit of bird life out here. But there were no dolphins here. None. Yeah, none at all. And now there's a few hundred of them. Make sure you are holding on guys, just try to keep up.
couple of Marine Mahorkas up the front. You got Lou up there. You got Georgia hanging around there too. Yeah, she's up there. You're going to have to be on my screen, Georgia. I can see it. So I ask lots of questions. Yeah, holding on, holding on. see very often this bird taking off in front of the boat. Kind of a bluey grey kind of colour. Quite a big white bird. Well white bluey 